Hi guys, this is Gorax. Uh, following my video on how to uh, get about 5000 gems every week, I'm gonna make a video about how to use your gems in best possible way to gain as much power as possible, the cheapest way possible. And also I'm gonna uh, advise you on what you should be spending your other resources at. Um, the most important thing to spend your gems at is a Colosseum Duel of the Champions. You got three fights for free every day but if you spend uh, 20 gems per fight you can get up to three extra fights and it's gonna give you a uh, reward number four five and six which is quite a lot of uh, artifact essence and also some uh, talent ingredient points but it's not the most important thing it, the most important thing is it's gonna increase your weekly rating if you do them every day and the higher you are in the rating, the better rewards you got. And if you qualify to top 32, you will unlock Pantheon every second week. And then you get a free tokens just for being in top 32. And if you are free to play player that can qualify to top 8, don't worry. The only thing you're going to be missing is a Black Knight and Green Dragon shots. Which, as a free to play player, you should avoid buying anyway. Because it's going to take you ages to get this uh, Black Knight up to a certain level what you should be focusing over here is your heaven cast stones so you can improve your artifacts as much as possible if you run an inferno camp uh, you can use the vultures for fire beds. if you run in something else just keep them for a dragon steel pack that's what i'm doing i'm only buying the dragon steel pack because with it with it you can buy 10 shots of a uh, SR plus units which are only obtainable by purchasing them Okay, so to uh, be able to buy extra fights you need to be at a certain VIP level I think it's a VIP level um, let me just look through it So not even free, okay, so you need to be VIP level Okay, so two times per day, and that will be a three times per day. Yes, yeah, so you need to be VIP level three. See that? That allows you to uh, get to three extra five. So you need to uh, purchase 500 gems, which equal to which equals to uh, eight pounds. Well, nine pounds. So it's very cheap. And you don't need to buy the gems, you can always buy the packs. See, for 9.99, you can uh, just buy that pack and that's gonna give you enough experience to be VIP free. Okay, it's not necessary, but if you can uh, make a purchase, do that so you get VIP level free and you can do extra fights. Two is enough as well, depending on how uh, active is your server. But this is the most important thing I will spend gems on. Okay, so that's for a free-to-play player. Obviously, you don't want to spend more than that. If your server is new, the thing you can spend your gems on is extra energy. And spend your energy in the underground levels so you can farm the units that you actually need or use. Uh, don't buy more, en more energy than uh, 50 uh, gems worth. See, I'm, not, I'm at, at my current level, I'm not buying even a hundred. Gem energy, I could afford it, but I see no point of buying it. See, so your leveling slows down after level 80. You don't need to uh, rush it. So that's, uh, if you spend, uh, if you refresh your energy twice for 50 gems, that's 100 gems, plus 60 from Colosseum. So that's 160 gems uh, daily, which you can get from arena so you don't need to worry about you will always get a little bit more but if you're free to play player just stop there you don't need to invest your gems anywhere else uh, if you got a little bit more money what you can do is you can uh, always always buy an extra 50 gem worth of uh, stamina in your guild adventure to get these uh, taverns or other things that are within your reach it's always helpful the tavern rewards with universal uh, token universal hero token which is only obtainable through the uh, Duel of Champions. And that's why, again, spending your gems here is the most important thing to do, and it only, co only costs 60. Uh, if you got a little bit more money 
to spend you know, your daily budget on the gems is higher you can uh, spend it at the magic guild okay see the magic guild you gonna increase your heroes level hero stats every spell gives you bonuses and these bonuses as you can see all that my uh, spell spell bookshelf is at really low level i didn't know about that i just started investing in it but i'm doing it smartly i only do uh, one or two pulls daily to finish the quest for 300 for spending 300 gems okay these bonuses give me 216 thousand power but that's for uh, you only gonna do it when you're higher level okay then uh, the next thing you should be spending your gems on depending on your budget you, you you never want to spend more than you gain daily is a uh, astro lodger okay artifacts give you the most power you should always accumulate these uh these uh blue thing i forgot the name of it of, of it okay but the currency for that you should always accumulate it never spend it outside of the events always keep them for the events because uh, if you do a hundred pull during the event you're gonna have a great uh, great rewards for it but if your server is new this is the way to be in top four okay i'll make a new video about how to score top four within the first week of the server for medium spenders because if you're free to play player uh, I'm sorry to say it, but you won't be able to do it. Okay, you need certain VIP level to be able to compete in uh win the first week of the server. But don't let don't let it uh, demoralize you because uh, the first week is only for the Titan for the giant reward. And most of the players that I've competed against already quit the game to take a board of it. They invested a lot of money, were in the top, and then just quit because. That's what it is with the whales, they always quit. So that's why you should be spending your gems. The thing that you should be avoiding spending your gem is, gems is altar. Do not purchase that outside of the events. Even during the events, you need to think if you really want the reward. It's a gem sink. The you, to get a hundred pulls, you need to spend 27,000 gems, which equals to like uh, 400 bucks and you don't want to do that even for a whale it's a sink of sink of, ma sink of money because uh, the altar doesn't give you as much power as you would think so for 27 gems let's say I get another angel so my angel will be a uh, so I will get like 80 uh, shots, 80 shots at four star angel that equals to uh, five upgrades. So that's halfway through for 27,000 gems and his power is going to move for uh, about 5,000. With that many gems, if I spend them on over here for the artifacts, my power can increase by like 200,000. And now I'm not even joking. See when we were doing uh, the first seven days of the server. Uh, I finished it with about 450,000 power and half of it was my artifacts. See in the video that I've done with two units, uh, Solmer two units versus Rashka with six units, my power was 2.2 million and that's because my uh, Solmer combined with my artifact power gives me about 1.8 million power. So most of your power will come from artifacts and that's where you should invest the gems if you're a mid-spender. If you're a whale, you can spend your gems whenever you want. The whale on my server, he started whaling about two month and a half ago. He wasn't even in top uh, 50 by then, but suddenly he just uh, show up and started spending money, started spending them like crazy. I think he's one of the highest powers in the game. If you guys know any higher power level guy, please do tell me. I'm very curious. But we as a guild, we don't even try to compete with him. We just let him be first. We don't care about that because as a guild, we are the strongest guild and these guys can't compete with us. And that's what really matters, social uh, aspect of the game. Okay, so let's talk about the other currencies you get within the game. So you got barracks, and you got all these shiny uh, gem uh, gemstones over there. So 
if you decided what faction you're gonna focus on, you should be spending your resources in that faction, nowhere else. You always want to gather as many gemstones as possible. Uh, the steel, they are called steel, okay? So just for, just uh, try to gather as many as possible because there are events that boost the producity of these uh, buildings and that's when you want to spend the excess amount of them. So what I'm focusing at the moment is my uh, Sandro. So I'm just buying all these uh, Necropolis units. Okay, spend the green ones on the two lowest tier. Then I buy uh, vampires. The reason I buy vampires is I want to max them out as soon as possible. You get a lot of them for free through the guild adventure. And they are easy to obtain through the guild donations. But I want them max out before I start maxing out wheat. Although the ghosts are very... I'm not, I'm not gonna say weak. I'm, not, I'm not just gonna say they are not strong. They are very useful in a Sandro formation because they provide with silence and extra mana region due to Sandro's passives. Okay, I already have a six star lich which I obtained through these um, mausoleum. I only bought one pack to unlock the lich, and then I just used my uh, dragon steel to use it. And same with the mummy. I'm investing into Mami now, I'm trying to get him to the 6 star and then I will slowly uh, awaken both of them at the same time because Mami is a very strong unit as well as a Lich Okay, I'm just sad there's no way to get this red uh, steel at the moment because that would be uh, awesome to buy even uh, 5 uh, shots a week of the SSR unit Okay, so that's where you should be spending your Barak resources uh, when it comes to arena, it all depends on what are you running. If you're running a stronghold unit uh, composition, you want rock. Rock is a strong unit. If you're in the beginning of the game, you want to buy a swordsman. Okay, uh, swordsmen are very good at the beginning of the game. I'm using it for the whites, okay, because I'm trying to max them out. Uh, don't worry about the awakening at the beginning of the server. It's gonna take you a while. So just get this unit stronger, but if you're running a stronghold and your rock is, rock is about 6 stars now, just get him uh, awakened and buy him instead. Okay, so in the shop over here for gold, I always buy these three uh, things. It's a unit and two resources. When there's, when I'm, when I need to do two, uh, when I need to do a quest that requires me to spend 2 million gold and I can't do it other other way by like uh, upgrading my unit skill, I buy spell scrolls. You always want to have a high amount of spell scrolls because it requires a lot of them to spend uh, to uh, level up your heroes. When it comes to campaign, I used to buy Ifriti and uh, Heaven Cast Stones. If you run an Inferno comp, Ifriti is uh, gonna be your best damage source, so I will always buy them. Even if you're not running Infernal Comp and you don't want uh, Vampire Lord Soul Stones, you should still buy Ifriti because they use uh, the Orange Barra Crystals. All the other units don't, and Orange Barra units is hardest to get in. You should always buy Heaven Cast Stones. Always. It's the best value because you get it for free. And also, if you're running a Vampire, I, re I recommend using Vampire in almost every setup. He's the best off tank of the game at the moment. Very hard to kill, does a lot of damage and provides a. Uh, AO healing to units. Uh, that's why I'm currently I currently switch from Ifriti to the Vampire Lord Soulstone. Now, when it comes to artifacts, you should keep eighteen hundred uh, essences to buy the dragon uh, equipment. Okay, you should skip all of that. Don't buy Heaven Cast Stones. Only buy only keep it for the Red Dragon uh, artifacts, and always buy the piece you need to upgrade your. Uh, artifact to the next level so currently I'm waiting for my uh, armor and uh, shield once they pop up in the store I'm gonna buy them see I could afford to refresh it but I'm not gonna waste 20 gems just for that I got time I got patience I only uh, I only boost my stats when there's uh, even going like uh, when I feel like I'm not gonna be in top 3 in a Pantheon, but with Sandro at the moment, it's very easy to be uh, top three. Okay, so that was uh, campaign artifacts. Now guild. 
what you want to do with your guild is uh, max out all these three heroes they provide you passive uh, bonuses on two and three stars so once you unlock all of them all of them you can start spending on the roosters and spell scrolls you can also do orange crystals if you really uh, struggle with the skill levels of your main composition don't worry about your secondary units at the moment it's you're gonna get them slowly through uh, other means of the game when we get to the champion the only thing that I'm buying here is universal tokens shots and when I get to the king level you can buy three of them for a price of two so that's a good deal so that's the only thing that I spend my uh, champion points on then we got plane so in plane you basically want to buy the awakening uh, stone, soul stones of the units you need to upgrade see all these faction boxes you should keep them for the faction event we got a castle unit uh, event going on right now so if you do two if you uh, pull t uh, 20 units you're gonna receive a um, let's see i can't remember the right okay so if you get 20 castle unit tokens during these events you're gonna get eight uh medals 5,000 gold and 500 experience. It's not much really, but what you need is these royal medals because you can uh, exchange them for whatever you want. I always buy gold keys and then astro silver. So I always keep these uh, boxes for the events. There's no point of opening them whenever because you're not going to benefit a lot of it by opening it whenever you get them. Always play smart and always keep your stuff for the events when you can benefit the most of it. Okay, what else? So materials, um, consumables, okay, so, uh, see these talent potions, I always keep them to use them on the events as well, so I'm using them today on the events. Ah, uh, see these uh, basic material and raw material chests, you want to keep them until you hit your max level, because they're gonna provide you with the highest uh, materials, so if I use them at the moment, I'm gonna get plus three orange. But if I wait till level 92, I'm gonna get plus uh, 4 orange. So you, you can see what I'm saying about it. Okay, so if you're level 70 and you got them, just uh, don't use them. Keep them for level 80 when you start slowing down on your level. Mm, silver keys, I always use them when I need extra units to finish the events. And look at these uh, talent portions. I'm not using them when I don't need to. I only use them when there's an uh, event going on because after getting your units to 12,000 uh, power at uh, talent point, it's very hard. Let's see, I got 14,000 and I do it and I only get 55 power up. Okay, if I do it on a lower unit, some unit that doesn't have anything, let's say a green dragon. Okay, if I use it here, I'm getting 1200. And it's a good way to boost your rooster, but I'm not worried about it yet. I'm only doing it during the events. Because it's not really important to do. You can do it if you are trying to min max, but if you're trying to improve your power, always uh, always do it in the events. Oh, um, that's what I'm trying to do. I'm trying to play smart and just keeping everything for the events. Okay, so artifacts. When you, once you max out an artifact, you can always... Uh, can always uh, dismantle it so I'll go to artifacts dismantle and I've maxed out this free already so when I do it auto, auto select dismantle I'm gonna get eight essences and that's how you're gonna speed up your dragon artifact set very fast once you get to that point I'm also very close to maxing out this blue artifact I just need uh, the essence as you can see I got 60 59 and 35 that's gonna give me a lot of essences but it's costly to get them up. So for 18, I need, I need a thousand of heaven cast stone, and that's why it takes a long, long time to get them. I think this is uh, all the resources that I've mentioned. Of course, you should, you should be uh, up leveling up your main uh, units, so you will spend experience on that, but don't forget to level up your all your other units to at least level 50. It's gonna uh, improve your rooster by a lot because you're gonna upgrade them as well 
uh, when it comes to the gear upgrade i only upgrade it till uh, i'm available for bringing it level of the uh, item up there's no point of keeping down the level of your uh, unit because it's gonna cost you a lot of money and it's better spent on spell scrolls or even a silver keys once you uh, get to the point you're you're not gonna get as much power of the gold from uh, other sources then you can bring the levels up of it uh, your energy you should be only spending your 60 point of energy during the story when you want to upgrade your unit so let's say for example I'm trying to get all these units to uh, to an orange grade now so let's say I want to do harpy okay I'm just gonna do 10 of it so I can upgrade the level and I'm gonna keep all my excess energy and all my bonus energy on the undergrounds and I'm gonna farm all the units that I need can get a lot of unit, unit tokens from it that's where you should be spending your energy uh, I would like to thank for all of my subscribers guys um, I'm very happy you guys like my videos I know some of these videos lack quality but the only time I can actually record something is in my bath when I'm uh, when my little one is asleep or my partner is taking care of her that's why mostly I don't have even time to uh, edit anything uh, excuse us editing will, will take me a lot of time and also I can't record from scratch because that will mean you guys need to wait a couple of days for the next video once I get a time uh, I would like to thank you once again for watching please like and subscribe my channel if you want to see it grow and have a nice day